Another video on ramp tests. Uh, I did one today. It didn't go well. Failed it. You can't really fail them, but I somehow did. And uh, Paul said, "Why are ramp tests stupid? Could you do a video on it, please?" So I was like, "I have to have to do one because I didn't really explain why it is." Um, so anyway, I obviously haven't been training with power at the moment because my power meter has been screwed. But I'm getting my new info on shoot on Monday, sorry. And on Tuesday, I'm going to do an FTP test um, because this week's been a rest week or whatever. And hopefully, you know, we should get. Uh, 3, 320, 330, which will be like a 5.2, 5.3 watt per kilo FTP. So, you know, not too shabby, not not what we were last year, but not not too shabby. So, anyway, I want to explain why I actually really rate ramp tests um, first. So, I really rate to ramp tests because, as I've said in previous videos, I made like four in ramp tests now, um, because there's no error in ramp tests, right? So, like, you know, there's no, oh, I went out too hard, or etc., etc. It's just pedal to die. That's it. And because of the data involved, people can see, like Trainer Road have a lot of this data. They know that, you know, this many people do a ramp test, this is their FTP, this is how they can, you know, can they complete the workouts. So generally, you know, ramp test starts, you do 20 watt increments or like 5% of, uh, what is it? I think it's 10% of threshold roughly. Um, so obviously you start really low wattage, ramp it up, ramp it up, ramp it up. And then the last minute of it um, is often known as your map, your maximal aerobic power is is sort of irrelevant what it is uh, but 75 percent of it is normally defined as your ftp so i did one today and you can obviously see you know i, I did a five minute warm-up which they don't normally necessarily say you do start 138 150 170 190 200 but 220 and i got so my last minute was like 267 which um we we can show is um sorry 267 times 0.75 and you can see it's like 200 watts now i, I don't want to be I mean that that's just not, my FTP is not 200 watts. I mean the last time I did a proper test outside I did 307 watts, and that was like April. And I've had a pretty big amount of training in the last three weeks. It should be like 330 to 320 watts, I think, outside. And we're going to confirm that on Tuesday. So that is why I think ramp tests are stupid um, because they don't map accurately outside for me. But there's huge caveats. Number one, I don't have a fan. That's that's big. If you can't cool yourself down, you're never gonna do it. I literally never ride inside. So you, the more you ride inside, the more adapted you are to the heat. I've not grey heat, so again, having no fan doesn't help. Turbo train wise, I did actually manage to borrow my dad's tax blocks, which is why it has power. Um, and I spit span it down before. Like I don't think the power's off. I genuinely think like my max. Like I also didn't go full. Like I could have eked out another minute or two, but I just got to the point where I was like. There's literally no point because what I wanted to do was be able to, you know, obviously I haven't trained with power for like five weeks now, no, like long, like seven weeks or something stupid. So I have no idea where my FTP is, but I, you know, and I, I know I'm going well, like endurance wise, but I don't know about the top end. I did an effort today, but like, so I just wanted to, you know, get a rough estimate of what my FTP would be. Um, so, you know, if let's say my FTP, they said it was like 310, then I would like, okay, fair. Like I can probably do like, you know, three, 320, 330. 20 minutes and then roughly know how to pace it um, because literally I'm going to get my family on Monday doing my test Tuesday I'm going to have no time to figure out what my FTP is so it's going to be a bit blind um, I mean it's not going to be 100% blind I mean the first five minutes just hold back a bit and then go full so it's not I know I know how roughly how to pace them um, but the issue I have with the ramp test is you can see like here so we'll just go minute by minute so the first minute 139 watts Hare 140 now I mean that's a joke like normally my recovery rides are like 150 and my heart rate's about 118 outside so heart rate's incredibly high my heart rate then went down for that one i think i don't know if i was stressing out or something at 150 i don't know but anyway 155 heart rate 139 but you can see it's ramping up it's just like ridiculous like my, my rate of perceived exertion at this point like 172 watts i was dying um i was like i'm well, not dying but you know what i mean it was, like, it was hard 170 watts isn't hard i can ride 170 watts for like 10 hours probably like it's not 191 you can see it's going up to like 158 158 i would say is equivalent to like or based on rides i've done with friends i was climbing at like four watts per kilo at like 150 heart rate so like not like four watts per kilo for an extended period of time like you know six seven minutes so you think okay fine that doesn't really add up 210 163 heart rate obviously there might be power meter discrepancies but all my mates were climbing at four watts per kilo i don't have a power meter but and my heart rate was at 150 so i'm pretty confident that just this whole inside thing, I'm just not good at.
but I really want to get good at it so that, you know, sometimes mid-block, you're like, oh, I, don't, I don't have time for a 20-minute test because, like, you know, it's going to time me out. I don't have time to take two days off because really, so you need, like, I mean, my best ever power I actually had was only one day off, but I genuinely think you need two days off, like one day off, and then normally, you know, a big week, one day off, off the bike completely, then rest day, then, you know, then rest day spin, like easy zone one for an hour or something, and then do the test. But with ramp tests, you can have one day off, whack it, and it doesn't really get out your training because it's not that hard. Obviously, it's hard the last three minutes or so, but it's not mind-numbingly hard. While a 20-minute test is pretty grim for about five minutes in, and it's pretty taxing on your body, so I really want to get it sorted. But, like, you know, 260 watts, my heart is like 188, like it's like getting close to max. And you're like, well, that's just rubbish. Like, that's just obviously inaccurate. So that is why I, I think ramp test is stupid um, because I just can't get accurate numbers from it. Like you're going to see it. It's like my FTB is genuinely at least 100 watts higher than what it's proclaimed. And like my power meter is info crank, like it's not. There's not a, like a terrible one from China or whatever, or like you know, one of these fake ones that doesn't read power properly. Like it, it's legit power. Like so, that's why I, I I don't really rate ramp test for me personally because I don't ride outside. All my zones are supposed to be outside, and also the motivation to just push in a in your basement or whatever is just it's just not the same. Um, and the whole point of zones is getting them accurate. And if you can't get them accurate, then there's there's no point doing a test. I mean, you could you could have an FTP test based on a three minute power, but it's not going to be accurate. So there's no point doing it. And in my opinion, the ramp test is harder to get accurate um, necessary unless you're used to training inside. I mean, like obviously, if I trained inside the whole time, had a really good fan, and was like you know super motivated, and this is like actually a big deal. But instead, you know, I think the lack of motivation is also caused by the fact that you're doing 200 watts and almost feeling like it's really hard, and you're like. I can ride 200 watts for four hours outside and feel absolutely perfect. So, yeah, anyway, that's why I said the ramp test is stupid. I don't actually really believe it's stupid. I think it's actually quite a good scientific way of measuring people's FTPs. But you just have to be good on the indoor trainer, motivated, and have a lot of cooling. Otherwise, your numbers will suffer. Um, but I'm going to keep doing this. Um, hill climb, I probably won't. But I'd quite like to experiment. Obviously, like normally, I just have a dumb trainer, so it's a bit harder to do a ramp test because getting the power perfect. But, you know, if I knew there's like a 10, maybe 10, 15 watt discrepancy, you know, it's going to stay more or less constant. Then, you know, I could be like, ah, oh, you know, I'm going to do my ramp test. Oh, my FTV is 330. I thought it was 320. Okay. You know, like we'll, we'll bump it up a little bit and then that will allow me to train more accurately. Um, but anyway, those are my thoughts on the ramp test. It's like video number seven on it. Um, cheers for watching. Uh, love as a subscription, like, and all the rest of the little things that everyone says to do. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one here.